Hello, we are Ben and Rebecca, and this is our road puppy, Lucy. For the past four and a half years, we've been exploring North America from top to bottom and coast to coast, all while working towards the dream of driving around the world. And you know what? Things are finally falling into place for us. Before shipping across the Atlantic, we need to prepare our camper for the adventure of a lifetime. But what we envisioned being a two to three week project snowballed into a three month long renovation nightmare upon discovering hidden water damage. We've broken down the project into five videos. The Dometic 12 volt air conditioning installation, replacing a water damaged subfloor, upgrading the toilet to a separate tiny, the renovation process as a whole, and then we'll wrap it up with a video about the mistakes we made so you don't make them yourself. Be sure to hit the subscribe button so you don't miss a thing. And we'd also love to get to know you better. So check out the membership program on our YouTube channel. Hello from Belgium. And as our truck is in the belly of a cargo ship crossing the Atlantic, we welcome you to Extreme Van Makeover. In this video series, we're taking you from start to finish and sharing all the nitty gritty details about renovating the interior of our camper van. We do have to throw it out there, a uh, disclaimer. This is not a how-to video in any sense of the word. This is a how we did it video. No doubt there are better ways to do the things we did. And if you know them, please feel free to share them in the comments below so that you can help others. Just be nice about it. Yep, another disclaimer. I was not too thrilled about working on the camper. I can hold my own with this type of work, but there's a million and one other things I would rather be doing. Number one, traveling like we are in Belgium right now. Jumping right in, let's get started with the air conditioning upgrade. We did these renovations in the summer of 2020 in San Diego, California, and it all started at our friends Russ and Christine's house. Russ has just about every tool imaginable and he helped us mount the new Dometic 12 volt RTX air conditioner on the roof of our camper. We have an entire video dedicated to this uh, addition to our truck, so we're not going to go into great detail about it here, but highly recommend checking it out on our channel. From the air conditioner install, we headed to Ben's dad's where we intended to do the wallpapering, painting, staining, and new flooring. We thought two to three weeks max. We had no yeah. idea what we were in for. Completely wrong. We are tackling something I've wanted to do for a really long time, which is switch up the interior of the truck. You know, the Luan paneling in here is in fantastic shape. The truck came to us in, in perfect condition. Um, it's just mostly that I'd like to lighten up the walls a little bit. Like I said, green is not my color and we always agreed we would change out the countertop, table, and cushions. And we're gonna do some painting. So, it's time to get started. And the first thing we have to do is all... If things look a little unilateral in the beginning of this process, it's because we had agreed Ben would focus on editing and I would take the lead on this remodeling project. Before we actually started the project though, we had to empty out all of our stuff from inside the truck. I can't find anything else that needs to come out at the moment. Whew, it's hot and humid. My reinforcements have arrived and you're probably wondering why Lucy's wearing a diaper. It's because she's in heat for the first time, but she's gonna hang out on the bed while this guy helps me unscrew all of the walls and cabinets and whatever else we're taking apart. I guess that's what I'm good at. Yes, it is. Okay. It's what you agreed to do for me, so. Yeah, <laughs> it's worth it in my uh, best interest too. <laughs> Didn't we just hang this stuff up? Yep. What do we have here? There's a light switch, the... Blower controller, the lights over the bed, the max fan controller, and the thermostat. That's it. And we're taking pictures so that we can remember how everything was and we put it back together right. I'm also making little uh, snack baggies and they're labeled like hallway wall, hallway hangers, 
and they have all the screws and everything in them so that we can keep everything straight, not lose it, and know where it goes when it goes back together. Are you ready to go inside? <laughs> and Ben's working on the cabinets right now. This wall is off. And I've taken all the trim off around the bottom so that we can replace the flooring. How you doing? And the truck doesn't look like the truck anymore. So, countertop is off. Um, it's gonna be a new backsplash there. And then we deconstructed the dinette. It's gonna get painted and we took down this back wall. I'm gonna wallpaper it. And then you can see we took all the trim down that we had cut out for the new air conditioner and I'm gonna stain it. It's torn apart, so now we don't have a choice but to do it. <laughs> I'm ready to get started and we're doing this right this morning. I've got goggles, mask, gloves, and most importantly, music. As the saying goes, the work is in the prep was definitely the truth here. The process of sanding everything was particularly tedious, made a little bit easier by the help of a palm sander, but still very time consuming. And for this Alaskan, the heat in San Diego made it infinitely worse. I was also a cheapskate and refused to go purchase one of those pop-up tents. So instead I used a tarp and made a makeshift shade area. That helped a lot to get me out of the sunshine. I can't believe it, but I can actually officially say we are ready to start primering and painting. Everything is sanded, everything is wiped down, wood putty is put in all of the right places. Woohoo! Time to do the fun part. It's finally time to start doing the fun part, painting. I of course began with a primer coat, but very rapidly was to the point of adding color. Things progressed pretty quickly and it was time to start staining before long. I used a poly stain, so the stain and the polyurethane coat on top all in one and was able to do two coats on most everything. Looked great. We also decided on making a new kitchen table. So we used a local lumber store who made the cuts and edged the table for us. And then I added the stain. Here on the table though, I did five coats. I really wanted it to be durable considering it was going to be a high use area. Do you wanna say hi to all of the people and show them what you can do now? Can you show them what you can do? You have to sit back a little. Sit. Hola, Lucy. <gasps> Yay, Lucy. Yay. During the heat of the day while Ben was wrapping up editing, I would go inside and work on things like wallpapering the Luann panels and adding contact paper to the shelving. Thank you for doing this. Thank you for doing all that. <laughs> I couldn't manage both. It's got to be a divide and conquer scenario. Yep. Well, this is a great time to say thank you. We would not be sitting here in Belgium waiting for our truck to cross the Atlantic without the help of family and friends. Yeah, the moms both contributed uh, with some going away gifts that resulted in large components of the project. Ben's Friend Russell, man, without all of his tools, we couldn't have done this, literally couldn't have done it. And then your dad, who agreed to two to three weeks in your driveway so we could do our renovation, let us stay at his house for over three months while we completed this project. Yep, you guys <laughs> are the best. We love you and thank you from the bottom of our hearts. Well, things just, uh went from bad because we're having to work on the camper to worse because the water damage that we had known about was far worse than we envisioned and we have been living with this for a while but this right here is all rotten up until a point somewhere in here 
and it also extends that way which means we have to pull the entire bathroom out to replace the subfloor after way too many hours disassembling crap and i gotta say the previous owner did an amazing job building this camper habitat but not being the one that kind of put it all together and know where all the screws go and it has been a nightmare but it, i think we finally got this wall so we can pull it off This is a big turning point. Oh my goodness. Okay, gentle, gentle. Okay. It's loose. Now how do we get it out of here? Or we prop it up somewhere and work on getting this out of the way. And then you can just yeah. pull it all out. Seriously, this is a effing nightmare. I have so many better ways to spend life than doing it like this. <laughs> It's like peeling off layers of an onion that you didn't assemble. I guess at least an onion he knows uniform. But the workmanship that the previous owner did is spectacular. It is like solid as sears. But not knowing where things are has been tremendously challenging. Whereas if you're like the one who assembled it, you're like, oh, I know I put a screw there, I put a screw there, we gotta remove this to get to that. and. Instead, just like this exploratory stuff. And, can't lie, there's been quite a bit of stuff that's been glued. And that has complicated things as well. But this is about to come out, I think. But check this out. This is underneath the toilet. Now, that's not actually the toilet causing that water damage. That is damage because it's all rotten down in here. Horrible, horrible, nasty, just bad, bad stuff. There are mushrooms down in there. Oh, freaking disgusting. But where that water's coming from is right over here. I got stuff in the works. This, it's an, a cleaning access port on the top of the tank. And lo and behold, when we fill it up, water will kind of burp or splash out of here as the tank gets full. And then, you know, we go and drive somewhere and it's just sloshing around. And there we go. Oh, that's a big step very very big step because we can now get this thing out of here and so it goes this ow water uh, damage mold it's bad i don't wish this on anyway this is uh not looking good but we have to get this shower basin thing out of here and it's on this little pedestal thing. I'm just not seeing where it's screwed down to the floor. And I'm not seeing where I can even remove this to get to what's down there. So it's, who knows, like this pedestal could be glued to the floor, but the fact that we're kind of just going, well, it's like uncharted waters pretty much is what it is and you just have to walk away. And sometimes you need to walk away when you get frustrated and just rethink things. 
Or beat the living crap out of stuff and it ends up coming out. That's True. what I did to that wall you just took out. Swear words help too sometimes. They did immensely. Yeah. Whew, these N95 masks, they're breathable, but not very breathable. Uh, but I guess the safety factors are real while we're in here. Now I've undone the shark bite fittings. So these kind of just go like so and then you use this little tool and you pop them off. But now, <laughs> I wasn't quite sure how much of them I was gonna have to, oh, there's one more clamp on that one, but I think the, this one will pop out. I wasn't quite sure how much I was gonna have to take apart. So I went and labeled them all, you know, like bottom, north, south, hot, obviously, cause it's red, passenger, uh, above the tank. Everything has been labeled. Yeah. But this one is frame for the hallway. And that is, that's all the screws that came off of the monstrosity that was here. Is this the last one? Yes. That thing was glued onto there. Huh. Learn something new every day. Well, I'm no forensic expert, but I'm thinking we got a leakage issue from the top down in this area as well. All right, moment of truth. Let's see here. Definitely got some rotten wood there. All right, well, it's a given that all of this is gonna be replaced. But, oh uh, yeah, this is disgusting and a very good point to end the day before we get in a fight with each other. But another fight. You're implying we haven't had a fight yet. Good morning, Benjamin. Good morning. What's on your docket for the day? Oh, gee, we're gonna go have some fun and travel and try new things and not have electrical wires in your hair. Yeah, we're gonna have fun today. Looking forward to it. It's going to be a good day. Because you want to come back from reality now to reality now? Reality is we got to get this water tank out of here right now. All right, so we're taking off all of the waterproof walls. It's done. We thought that we had this front wall cleared and ready to be removed, but it won't come loose. And so we're thinking there must be screws behind this wall. So we had to clear it to expose all of these screws. Turns out we have a wall glued to a wall, glued to a wall. This is less than fun in case you wondered. Here's the rewarding part. How much will come off in this one? Come on. Oh. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna call it good right here. Nice. That is a massive chunk. Did that feel good? Not really. At this point, I'm just numb. Mm -hmm. Nothing really makes me happy right now. Aside from this truck rolling down the road on another adventure. Mm -hmm. Little victories aren't doing much for me today. Still have not been able to get this wall out. I have no clue what is still holding it in at this point but did get the water tank removed and there's more water damage those are mushrooms that is like the most disgusting thing ever and it kind of goes on up and when doing like forensics on water damage it goes obviously with gravity on down and it's still even a little moist under there but this is 
horrendous. I don't think any of this has been pleasant, but this wall has been a son of a bitch. It, let me show you. We had to take off all the cabinetry back here because it was taped. Tape caused us all this extra work. Tape, seriously. The icing on the cake is that we broke the uh, door for the cassette, which comes out of the UK. Here we go. Now it is time to remove, replace, and repair our water damaged subfloor. This was one heck of an interesting process and completely worthy of its own video. So check that out on our channel. But what you're seeing here is just a little teaser. And that is a wrap for part one of our three part extreme van makeover series. Hope you enjoyed it. We look forward to sharing the second and third videos when we finally crest that hill and things start to come together. Until then, safe travels and we'll see you on the road.